Shalom, shalom, chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here with uh, Stephen and Yana Benoon. By the way, this is not part two of what is happening. Uh, this is a new video speaking about ankle bracelets, prison ankle bracelets going to be uh, given to Louisville, Kentucky res residents who are exposed to COVID-19 who refuse to stay home. Got some other things we're going to share with you, though. Uh, so before we get into this, let's get started, Yana. Well, we are going to do the part two uh, of previous uh, video that we started and we named it part one. But this is something that, you know, I think, Steve, the world is becoming crazy. There is something going on that is supernatural. And I think what has happened is that Kabbalah and witchcraft has been unleashed upon this planet. Now, people are starting to literally act crazy. I am not sure if I trust any more human species in general. And that's because the way that they are treating each other. First of all, this was on the 19th of March, okay? And this is all done, Steve, by design, by plan. Because those who have unleashed this so-called pandemic as a cover for the takedown of economy and, and takedown of our life in every sphere you can imagine. They are smart people. Steve, they are very, very intelligent, very smart, okay? Smarter than human species in general. And they know human psychology and they know what social distancing and house arrest will cause and what these scare tactics, tactics of the scare techniques and tactics that they are unleashing on CNN and Fox right. over these uh, cold virus, COVID-19, how they're scaring people. They know how human psychology works and they know, knew exactly, they probably had it modeled by AI. AI have developed models, what would happen to humanity, human mind, human behavior in general. So they know exactly what, that what, what's happening now, this is all predicted and it goes by the plan. Well, and, and humans are becoming literally crazy, okay? If you recall, in one of uh, the conversations I had with a source out of D.C. said they have, they have tested the scenarios for years to, to, as far as the, what outcomes they could achieve by these different things that they could unleash and this is what's happening. So what you're saying is true. These things have been tested uh, or, or they've researched it enough to know what the outcome would be with the, with the populace. Right. Like now, you know, if you're listening, it seems like everything is marked as COVID-19 now, no matter what kind of illness you have. You have heart attack, COVID-19. You have cancer, COVID-19. Oh, you cough and sneeze because you have a seasonal, like, allergies? Oh, you must have COVID-19. Everything, Steve, is COVID-19. Did, did you notice that? Right. Now, you know there is such a thing like allergies. People sneeze and cough all the time. And now some neighbors can report you because you sneeze and cough. So be careful, people, when you need to sneeze or cough. Like go inside and lock yourself in a closet because neighbor might hear you and call police on you, you know? Now, jittery Californians call police to report their neighbors coughing and sneezing amid fears of a coronavirus. You tell me, Steve, if this is normal. It's not normal. And, and, and you know, speaking of one other thing real quick here, going back. The source that we had that was sharing about what was going on in Northwest Florida at the hospitals there, that they, you know that there were no patients there, is practically a ghost hospital, also reported that because they go to the morgue there, they had access there. He said there was only one or two bodies in the morgue. He said there's no there's no deaths of COVID-19 that are being reported. He said it's contrary to the reports that are coming out of that area. Yes, a lot of other people are reporting. Nurses are reporting to, they're losing their jobs because they don't need nurses because they have nothing to do. Well, we're going to go through, on our part of the video, we're going to go through some comments 
where people are reporting things. So we will read them together. But now let's read this article. Nervous Californians have started calling police on their neighbors to report loud coughing and sneezing during coronavirus pandemic. This is comical, Stephen. This is comical. Okay, the Palm Springs Police Department around 100 miles east of L.A. said it had fielded around five such calls in the past week, according to the Desert Sun. Chief in neighboring Cathedral City are reporting getting similar calls, though couldn't say exactly how many. It comes after 7 million Californians were put into lockdown in the Bay Area amid a spike in coronavirus infection rate. Okay, and here they're saying... <clears throat> that they are putting, in most cases, police say the cells are being passed to the fire department who go out to the home along with paramedics to check if person needs medical help. Can you imagine that you just had a loud sneeze because you have like seasonal allergies and and next thing you know, you have a <laughs> knock on the door it's a, <laughs> and it's a paramedic with a police trying to see if you need help. Now, Coughing is one of the most common symptoms of coronavirus, according to CDC, along with chest pain, fever, shortness of blood, and, and, and so on. Anyway, don't cough, don't sneeze, take Benadryl, take some kind of a antihistamine, because just in case the neighbor hears you, you know, they may call police on you. Now, What's even worse is ankle monitors ordered for Louisville, Kentucky residents exposed to COVID-19 who refuse to stay home. What did we tell you in our part one video that you are all in prison and we are, of course, I am house with you. Arrests. We are all in house arrests. And this is exactly, Yana, what they give people that are on house arrest, monitoring br bracelets, so they, they know whether or not they're keeping according to their house arrest. So Kentucky is following exact protocol for house arrest uh, under a COVID uh, scenario that right. they're claiming that this is a pandemic. Right. This is actually an article from April 3. It says Kentucky is taking severe measures. No kidding to ensure residents exposed to coronavirus stay at home. Louisville residents who have been in contact with coronavirus patients by refuse to isolate themselves are being made to wear ankle bracelets. A judge has ordered one resident to stay at home after he's refusing to self-quarantine. Well, maybe he was just healthy, Stephen. Well, maybe he just felt really good, but now Listen, let's see if, if I have anything else highlighted. It's getting out of line. Now, these ankle bracelets, really? Let's look at this. What is house arrest? House arrest <clears throat> is an alternative to being in a prison while awaiting trial or after sentencing. While house arrest can be applied to criminal cases when prison does not seem an appropriate measure, the term is often applied to the use of house confinement as a measure of repression by authoritarian governments against political dissidents. People, they see people, maybe humanity, as as enemy now. And we have gotten a well, letter, right? Like the thing that. is, is it is that, you know, in this case here, the authoritarian governments against political dissidents, that's exactly the way they would consider it, because when you're going against what they're deeming to be a pandemic, even though we have professionals that are clearly saying that this is all hyped up and false information, uh, they now consider you political dissidents. You're not going along with the political narrative, which uh, is skewed by a lot of bogus reports. And there are, as you've pointed out in the, in the video we did, uh, what is happening, part one, uh, there is a, there's many professionals joining their voices together that are doctors, uh, epidemiologists, uh, virologists, everything else that are telling us this is not a real pandemic. Right, exactly. We just brought some of them to you in a previous video, and we are going to bring more experts explaining to you that this is just like any flu of any year. Every year has either bad flu or, a, 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 you know, just a flu that is not as bad. There are worse years than others and so on. So um, 
And those of you who still say that this particular flu virus is a bioweapon, can I ask you, is this all that the bioweapon, that's all that they could do is a little coughing and sneezing and a little of like kind of a fever because somebody has a flu because night according to reports 99.7% of population with coronavirus recovers within few days okay and of course who is in a danger the elderly the ones with a compromised immune system so what kind of bioweapon is it was it a bioweapon every single year with a flu is, is you know some, some in 2018 2017 there was a worse flu season than this coronavirus was that a bioweapon is that all they could do no i'm telling you what is a bioweapon will be the solution to covid-19 infection okay the bioweapon is 5g surveillance technology and bioweapon will be vaccines containing nanotechnology okay and that they will surveil you through microchipping and stuff like that that's a bioweapon but not this particular infection so please you know i just really disagree with you because that is highly unscientific and highly illogical what you're suggesting to me now <clears throat> what is this one here as 911 gets calls for coughing neighbors hotline allows people to snitch the government uh, snitch to government during government outbreak. during outbreak so basically they have a hotline that you can call that somebody sneezed or coughed or that somebody is not social distancing or somebody is have you know having open business because they want people broke and you know well, be sure unemployed. to report the people at the white house because they do not practice social distancing. yeah i would like to call that number let's call that number and report trump and and whole, all his whole administration and tony fauci because he stays very too close to trump don't you think they don't yeah, and they don't wear no masks social distancing, they don't no wear masks. bandanas and they don't stay six feet apart when they are re talking to us and don't forget they've already told us that even healthy people are yeah, diseased. diseased the people. healthy and asymptomatic people are diseased right now. Don't forget, you see, here this article says, on Monday, Kentucky Governor Bashir announced a COVID-19 snitch hotline that allows citizens to report people and businesses who they think may be disobeying the state's social distancing mandates. The COVID-19 reporting hotline is 1833K. Why safer or 833-597-2337. Don't forget, people, memorize these numbers. You might hear some coughing or sneezing tonight. Your neighbor might just, you know, call for yeah. sneeze. Or I, you know, Stephen, well, right, I don't right have now, words. This for is, uh, I don't have words. Kentucky doing it, but don't forget. If Kentucky's doing this and going to such an extreme to uh, put on monitoring bracelets, I'm sure then Israel will be glad to give the world the uh, surveillance, their technology. surveillance technology yeah. and to uh, make it simpler with the microchip and uh, put in that little bit of a vaccine with nanotechnology with 5G. And voila, Israel will also give the technology to be able to track you by your phone. And sure enough, everybody on the planet will then be able to comply to the new demands of a new world order. We already are Israel. in it. I mean, if this is tolerated, what's happening, those ankle things here, right here, if this is what they're putting on people right now, no doubt we are in new world order. We are in Orwellian, just like here, the governor's decision drew immediate ire from Kentucky Congressman Thomas Macy, who compared it to chapter out of George Orwell's 1984. No kidding. Yeah. We already are in a police state. Well, we are in Orwellian New World Order now already. And sadly, many citizens are complying. Oh, wow. They actually have a like a 911 call. They got a 311 to report their oh, neighbors. Wow. wow. New, brand new number. Now you can, you know, you hate somebody. You just call that 311 number and says he coughed or sneezed. In the metro Louisville well, that's area. If you don't, that's if you're too close. So maybe that's what you should be doing in, in Kentucky. Let everybody know, you know, nobody in the White House. Not only the White House, the doctors and nurses don't social distance either. And uh, 
There's so many groups out there that don't, and yet there it's okay. The firemen, do you think they social distance with each other when they all sit in the fire truck and go this to This is your nothing house? short of house arrest. We yes. are in prison. We're prisoners. That's what we are. Selective prisoners. Do you see this? 311 exactly. to report neighbors who may not be complying with social distancing policies. Hey, you know what? Don't go out in the morning. Don't hug to your, your kids. gate. Don't, don't go to your gate. Say hello to your neighbors and hand them some apples. God forbid. God forbid because somebody, the third neighbor may see you and call 311 that you're not doing social distancing. You know, this is a test on humanity. Because if any human being complies with this and actually calls these numbers, that is just a sad, sad reality. And I hate to say this, but whatever life is right now awaiting us, those people will deserve every bit of it. Every bit of it. They should be the ones, you know, controlled like this. How can you even comply to this? Whoever calls this number to report another human being. Okay. Apparently... Key safer hot, KY safer hotline was inundated with so many calls on Tuesday. Wow, Steve, that Congressman Macy attempt to contact them went to a busy signal. There are that many citizens out there waiting to tell on their neighbors for alleged violation. I I'm out of words. I don't think I can speak anymore, Stephen. All to you. All right. Well, anyway, that sums it up for this video here. Uh, the Noon Institute, a little later this evening, probably late tonight, be uploading a teaching. I'll be uh, going into the, the verses that uh, I'd mentioned a little bit, but a lot more of the verses on uh, chapter uh, two of the Gospel of John. So do tune in and uh, hope it'll be a blessing to you. Stephen Benoon with Yana Benoon, Israeli News Live, where it is Ain't Shalom, there is no peace.